Next, we head to Elyria, Ohio for a sentencing. 27-year-old Neil Simpson has been found guilty on two counts of murder. Two counts of aggravated murder, two counts of aggravated robbery, felonious assault, and tampering with evidence. Three years earlier, Simpson went on a three-week armed robbery spree, including one night when he entered a pizza restaurant wearing a mask and holding a gun. Behind the counter was the owner, 43-year-old Dave Kowalczyk and two employees. Simpson shot Dave once in the head, killing him instantly, and then fled with some cash. One of the employees dialed 911. 911, do you need police, fire, ambulance? Someone shot someone. Are you with a person? Yeah. Are they breathing? I don't know where I walked away because I don't want to get shot. One of the employees knew Simpson and helped identify him as the killer. Police also determined that Simpson's gun was the murder weapon. Simpson was charged, and if convicted, he's looking at the possibility of a death sentence. He pled not guilty, and the case went to trial. When both sides came to rest, it took the jury two days to return with a verdict. Guilty. During the penalty phase of the trial, Simpson spat at the jurors as he was walked to the stand to make a statement. Despite being spit on, the jury ultimately voted against the death penalty and recommended a sentence of life in prison. Now it was up to Judge Mark Butleski to make the final decision. Today at sentencing, Simpson is wearing a spit hood placed on him by court officials to prevent any additional spitting incidents. Before the judge issues his sentence, David's two siblings come forward to deliver victim impact statements. My brother was a loving, kind person. He did anything in the world for anybody. For one family, they get to see a son, a grandson, a brother in prison. For the other family, they get to visit a brother, brother-in-law, uncle, and friend in the cemetery. Next, it's assistant prosecutor Tony Sillo who has a few words about the defendant. Nothing more than a coward. Somebody that covered his face and walked in and shot a defenseless man at close range. That's the true Neil Simpson. The bravado he shows in court, spitting on jurors. I've really never had the misfortune of being more follow piece of humanity at this point in my life. Finally, it's Simpson's turn to speak. And he continues to maintain his innocence. I know in their heart, they think I killed their family member. I'm sorry for your loss, but I had nothing to do with your family member's death. I didn't kill anyone. I'm not spending the rest of my life in prison for something I didn't do. Despite his claims of innocence, Simpson suggests more extreme alternatives in regard to his sentencing. Life without parole don't sit well with me. Uh, so I'm going to request a death penalty. And I have two ways I prefer to be murdered. One is to be crucified from the courthouse. Uh, for all the sins, all the convicts throughout the world. And uh, the other way would be stoned to death by the victim's family. And that make them feel better. The judge chooses a more conventional punishment. I count two, life in prison without the possibility of parole. Count three is 10 years in prison. Count eight, four years in prison. For his numerous charges, Simpson was sentenced to life in prison, plus another 41 years. He will have no chance at parole. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to a and &E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.